So somebody asked me if it was worth learning old languages like Basic or Perl or Fortran if they wanted to develop their coding skills. Short answer is, I suppose learning any language can help, but why would you learn perhaps sometimes outdated or often not often used technologies? Now, that being said, many, if not all, of the top 10 languages, depending on the list you read, are pretty bloody old. They're 20, 30 years old. C, C++, quite old. Java is 25 years old. Python, 30 years old. PHP, 25 years old. So would I learn basic now? No. Why would you bother with that when you can just jump into something that's actually used in production work like a Python? Perl, Perl, you could argue, it's probably still used quite a bit. You could probably learn Perl. It's weird. You know, people understand. The, the, the intention is good. You want to cover all your bases. Some people say, hey, you should learn C or C++ because it's the foundation of so many languages. It is the foundation of many languages. Uh, Java, a big part of it is written C as far as I understand. Uh, same thing with Python, I believe. That being said, you know, I suppose if you were a word worker, uh, learning to grow a tree and to cut it down to create the planks and the two by fours or the pieces of wood you'd use to assemble furniture, perhaps that would give you some sort of deeper understanding of making furniture in the sense where you understand uh, to the core what the trees are like themselves. But I'm not sure if that's going to really help you much in actual day-to-day -day furniture making. You're but you're much better off spending your time making furniture with the tools that you're going to use on a daily basis. So to extend that analogy in software development, if your goal is to write web apps, I wouldn't be learning C++. On the other hand, if you wanted to build game engines or write code for IoT devices and stuff like that, yeah, then you learn C, C++ for sure. So pick the language, uh, pick the technology stacks that align with the type of work you want to do. Remember, writing uh, device drivers is a totally different game than if you're going to be writing web apps. It's, it's not even close. It's not even close. So, yeah, if you learn C or C++, would it help you in terms of understanding uh, the nuances of how JavaScript is working behind the scenes? Sure. Would it help you much in your day-to-day -day programming? Not really, no. Because you have a different set of challenges with higher level languages like Python, like JavaScript, what they've done is they've uh, obfuscated, they put a facade over the layer of complexity that you would typically have to deal with if you're writing C code or C++ code. The advantage of that layer that Python provides and JavaScript provides and Java provides and C Sharp provides and PHP provides, the advantage of that layer, that facade, uh, is that you don't have to worry about all these details that you have to worry about with C and C++. The disadvantage is that uh, you're not going to have nearly as performant code as you would if you wrote everything from C, C++. The problem is, uh, though I suppose you could build web apps with C, C++, it would take you an infinitely, it would take you an, uh, so much more time an infinite amount, infinitely amount more of time. That's not even a proper sentence. You get the idea. It would take you so much more time. It's not even, it's not even a consideration. It's not even a consideration. So I know some people are purist, or they think they're being purist by saying, you have to learn C first or C++ first before you can move on. It's Again, it's disjointed, you know. It's uh, C++ skills will transfer into other languages for sure. But... Um, Again, the concerns of the C++ developer or C developer is very different than the concerns of the JavaScript and the uh, PHP developer or the Java developer. They're different games, different games. So there you go. So what I learned, old technologies like BASIC or Perl, maybe Perl because it's still often used. BASIC, I don't know how often BASIC is used in actual application development these days. If you learn Fortran or you learn COBOL, you do that because you want to maintain old, old legacy systems. You don't learn BASIC or COBOL because you want to become good at JavaScript. You want to become good at JavaScript, learn JavaScript. How's that for an idea? All right, hope that helps. Bye-bye. If you want to learn how to code, and more importantly, you want to learn how it is to be a professional coder slash developer, 
maybe it makes sense to learn from somebody who's been coding for decades, somebody who's worked on projects for major pharmaceuticals, has developed his own SaaS products that are used by many quasi-government institutions and government institutions, and somebody who has trained countless developers, including my superstar developer, who has developed and is a co-founder of one of the fastest growing startups in North American history. If that is interesting to you, I invite you to take a look at my links below. I got a full bootcamp slash mentoring program for people who want that full learning experience and mentorship. And I also have solo learn courses that are highly regarded and highly rated. Again, check out the links below. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.